Hello, here is Dinar and you are watching a video digest of what is interesting and important in Skyway project and Skyworld community over the past weeks. In this release, Brazil's first astronaut has tested the string transport. A press conference for journalists has been held at the Unitsky String Technology Center in Sharjah. The publications summarizing the presentation in Sharjah have appeared in the international media. And now more about these events. The Unitsky String Technology Center in Sharjah was visited by representatives of the Brazilian Space Agency, Brazilian Ambassador to the UAE Fernando Luiz Lemos Igreja and Brazil's first astronaut Mokas Ponches were among the delegation. Anatoly Yunitsky, general designer of Yunitsky String Technologies, has conducted the presentation for delegates. The engineer described the advantages of the technology, showed the differences between the different track structures and specifically highlighted the high-speed transport model. It has recently been demonstrated in a covered pavilion on the centrist grounds. In addition, the delegates visited the service station from which the transport complex is controlled. The guests then took a ride in the tropical unicar to see for themselves the reliability of the technology. As a reminder, Unitsky String Technologies company is a multidisciplinary company that also aims to contribute to the development of the space industry. That is why Marcos Ponches, as a professional astronaut, appreciated Anatoly Unitsky's proposals for the rocket-free industrialization of space. And now we move on to the main news of the past few weeks. There has been held a press conference at the Unitsky String Technology Center in Sharjah. Project founder Anatoly Unitsky and CEO of Sharjah Technology Park Hussein Al Mahmoudi spoke to journalists. The main focus of the event was the completion of the first phase of the urban string transport implementation. At this stage, a 400-meter track structure has been built in Sharjah, and the freight and passenger models of Unitsky string technologies have been tested. According to Anatoly Unitsky, the technology is now ready for the market. The journalists also got to know about the company's future projects. In particular, in the next phase there is planned to build a track for testing, demonstrating and certificating the high-speed transport. The minimum length of this track structure should be 20 kilometers. The implementation of the project will require $230 million. The press representatives were also able to see the technology in action taking a ride in a tropical unicar and visiting the service station. At the link in the description below this video, you can watch a short report from the press conference and listen to Anatoly Yunitsky's comment on the significance of the event. And we are moving on. After the press conference, the event was reported by major international media. For example, detailed articles were published by Construction Week, Zavia, Associated Press, The National and others. You can find out even more details about the recent presentation from these materials. For example, the journalists from Construction Week revealed that Yunitsky String Technologies plans to add 10 potential targeted projects to its portfolio by the end of 2022. We remind you that according to Anatoly Yunitsky, at least three contracts may be signed as early as this year. For their part, the authors of The National reported that the tender for the implementation of the technology is with the Dubai Roads and Transport Authority. The approximate cost of the string track in this Emirate would be 7 to 15 million dollars per kilometer. This amount includes the construction of the track structure, infrastructure elements and vehicle production. For even more details on the development of the project in the UAE and the recent press conference in Sharjah, check out the news in SWC personal office. The links are in the description. That has been all news for today. 
subscribe to the SWC YouTube channel and enable notifications for not missing future releases of the Video Digest. See you later!